Hello po, mabuhay. Peace be with us po. And that's dating po sa ating lahat. Tigbabalik po ang Come and See. Isang part preparing nga po, sabihin pa natin, Jesus, I trust in you. Okay po, we are now on the 8th Sunday in Ordinary Time na po tayo. The last Sunday before Lent. In our Gospel for today, Jesus said to his disciples, Can a blind man act as a guide to a blind man? Will they not both fall into a ditch? A student is not above his teacher, but every student, when he has finished his studies, will be on the par of his teacher. Why look at the speck of your brother's eye when you miss the plank in your own? A good man produces goodness from the good of his heart. An evil man produces evil out of his store of evil. Each man speaks from his heart's abundance. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel today teaches us that we could help our sinful brothers and sisters if we are cleansed from our sins. Di natin maaakay ang ating kapwa sa kabutihan kung tayo mismo ay walang kabutihan sa ating puso at isip. Mabigat po sa kalooban kung may mali sa ating pagkatao. Paganin natin ang ating kalooban at makakaya natin silang tulungan. Pakigan pa natin na readings and gospel for this day po. A reading from the book of Sarah. When a sieve is shaken, the husk appear. So do a man's faults when he speaks. As the test of what the potter molds is in the furnace, so in his conversation is the test of a man. The fruit of a tree shows the care it has had. So too does a man's speech disclose the bent of his mind. Praise no one before he speaks, for it is then that the men are tested. The Word of the Lord A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. When this which is corruptible frame takes on incorruptibility, and this which is mortal must clothe itself with immortality, then will the saying of Scripture be fulfilled, that is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and sin gets its power from the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Be steadfast and persevering. My beloved brothers, fully engaged in the work of the Lord, you know that your toil is not in vain when it is done in the Lord. The Word of the Lord A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus used images in speaking to the disciples. Can a blind man act as a guide to a blind man? Will they not both fall into a ditch? A student is not above his teacher. But every student, when he has finished his studies, will be on a part with his teacher. Why look at the speak in your brother's eye when you miss the plank in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the speak from your eye, yet fail yourself to see the plank lodge in your own. Hypocrite, remove the plank from your own eyes first. Then you will see clearly enough to remove the speak from your brother's eye. A good tree does not produce decayed from any more than a decayed tree produces good fruit. Each tree is known by its yield. Figs are not taken from thrown bushes, nor grapes picked from brambles. A good man produces goodness from the good in his heart. An evil man produces evil out of his store of evil. Each man speaks from his heart's abundance. The Gospel of the Lord 
Our gospel for today is taken from St. Luke. And let us reflect on, Be a good fruit to lead others. Gusto mo po bang makatulong? O gusto mo lang magyabang? Sa kilos o pananalita? Karamihan po sa ating mga Pilipino, o kahit banyaga, ang gusto ay makatulong. Yung iba po ay tumutulong ng walang kapalit. Kaligayahan na po nila ang makatulong. May mga tumutulong naman na nag-aantay ng kapalit at hindi taus-puso ang pagtulong. May mga pagtulong na may kapalit man o wala, makapagyabang lang. Kahit hindi alam ang gagawin sa pagtulong, sige lang. Kaya ang resulta ay kapamakan. Piliin po natin kung sino ang lalapitan natin o hihingan ng tulong upang tayo ay maakay o makaakay sa tamang pupuntahan natin. Gaya po sinabi ng Panginoong Yesus sa Ebanghelyo, maaari bang maging kagaakay ng bulag ang isa ring bulag kapwa sila mahuhulog sa bukay kapag ginawa ang gayon. Meron pong isang bagong basketball player ang nagtanong sa kalaban nilang sikat na sikat na basketball player na lanoon. Tinanong ng bagong player kung tama ba ang ginagawa niyang style ng pag-shoot ng bola. Sinagot siya ng sikat na player at tinuruan kung ano ang mga dapat niyang gawin. Nakinig siya, ginawa ng tama, pinagyaman, at iningatan lahat ng mga tinurong sa kanya. Ngayon, itinaturing na silang pinakamahusay na basketball player sa buong mundo. Ito ay nagpapatunay sa sinabi ng Panginoong Hesus na walang alagad na higit sa kanyang guro. Ngunit kapag lubusang naturuan, siya ay magiging katulad ng kanyang guro. Sa pagtulong o pagturo, siguraduhin po natin na tayo ay may kakayahan para tumulong o magturo. Baka naman po, instead po makatulong ay makaperwisyo pa po tayo. Huwag po tayo gagawa ng desisyon na hindi naman makakatulong. Makinig, magtanong sa mga mas may nakakaalam upang hindi magkamali at maligaw. Hindi po masamam ang pagtulong kung taos puso at alam mo kung paano ka tutulong. Maging mabuting bunga upang maakay sa tama ang iba. Magsalita na maigi upang makilala ka ng mabuti. Maniwala, magtiwala, wag lang manira. O Panginoon naming Diyos, maging katulad na wa kami ng iyong anak na aming Panginoong Hesus. Maging mabuting guru na wa po kami sa aming kapwa at sa aming pamilya upang maakay namin sila sa kabutihan. We praise and thank you. Protect us and guide us, Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching, my dear brothers and sisters. Maraming salamat po at God bless po sa ating lahat.